We started under the hoodie years ago. You know, playing into the black sweatshirt, dark room, elite hacker vibe. But the truth is, our pen testers and research are the core of what Rapid7 stands for. They help us understand attackers, build better tools, and connect with the community. Oh, and some of the stories we get from our pen testing engagements are amazing. Here's one now. One time, during a vishing-only engagement, the client gave me several phone numbers to contact, all part of a phone routing system. I wanted to understand what types of support calls the technical support person usually took before I actually chatted with anyone, so I performed OSINT and looked at Facebook, LinkedIn, and other sites to find current employees at the company. I also looked to see if there was any breach data that went along with the client's name, and while I did find some, I wasn't sure how old or reliable the data was. From there, I began my calls. One of the phone numbers routed me to a technical support person, and when they asked who I was, I pretended to be a specific employee I'd found using LinkedIn. My problem? I just got back from vacation and completely forgot my credentials. Totally fine, said tech support. Since they already had my name, they just needed the last four digits of my social security number. No problem, I said. See, during the OSN stage, I was able to gather usernames since the client hosted a website login to its Citrix portal. Also, the breach data I discovered happened to have several password combinations that appeared to include four numbers at the end, such as Frank0201. I took a swing in the dark, picked the LinkedIn user's last four numbers of their breach data, and held my breath. Okay, great, tech support replied. I've reset your password to password1. After tech support provided a reset password for the user, I took those credentials to Citrix, and it worked! The only problem now was that the login required answering questions the user had previously set up. Time for another call to tech support. I told them the questions I saw didn't look familiar and asked if I could reset them. Again, no problem. They just needed my social security number. Now that the security questions were reset, I was able to successfully log in to the client's Citrix portal. With this kind of access, I was able to log into a virtual desktop infrastructure via Microsoft Remote Desktop. From there, I was able to search a server file share for the words password, passport, HR, social security, and more. I got every single one. I told the client what had happened, and they weren't pleased to hear that their after-hours support likely didn't even look up and verify the social security number, because, as it turns out, the number I provided wasn't even correct. Well, that's just one example of our pen testing team at work. When you have leading security solutions and groundbreaking research on your side, nothing's going to slow you down. Check out the Under the Hoodie report for more.